It's the battle royale everybody's been waiting for. PUBG versus Fortnite. The two development teams jump out of a plane and into a courtroom and fight to defend their unoriginal ideas. Am I right? But is it actually such a good idea that PUBG is suing Fortnite now? Maybe not. It's finally happened. PUBG Core developers of the battle royale sensation have filed a copyright violation lawsuit against the creators of Fortnite Epic Games. The lawsuit, filed back in January of this year, has been sent to the court to determine whether or not Fortnite was copied from PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. This is a direct follow-up to the previous comments made by PUBG Corp back in September of last year during a press release. Speaking on the topic, PUBG Corp Vice President Chan Kan Kim said, quote, we are concerned that Fortnite may be replicating the experience for which PUBG is known. We've also noticed that Epic Games references PUBG in the promotion of Fortnite to their community and in communications with the press. This was never discussed of us and we don't feel that's right. But are PUBG Core really the best company to sue someone for originality? And are Epic Games really going to take this lying down? Well, probably not and here's a few reasons why. Epic Games, the company who are actively suing a 14 year old child, remember, are no strangers to a good old fashioned lawsuit. Back in 2007, Silicon Knights were a development studio who had a run in with Epic Games when the company sued them over their action RPG Too Human. Silicon Knights had licensed the Unreal Engine 3, which is Epic's own engine, and then blamed Epic's, quote, inability to provide the tech it promised to make Too Human. But then the company went on to make their own game engine for Too Human instead. But as it turns out, Epic found some of their Unreal Engine code in the new Silicon Knights engine and ended up countersuing them into oblivion. Shortly after, the company was closed down and all copies of Too Human were ordered by the court to be recalled and destroyed. As for PUBG itself, well, it's a battle royale game. Battle royale? It's a popular Japanese book, which was turned into an even more popular film, complete with yellow tracksuit, frying pan, and the concept of a huge free-for-all where there can only be one winner. It's also borrowed plenty from other games before it. H1Z1 is the obvious choice. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds is an evolution of PlayerUnknown's Battle Royale, which was a mod inside Armor 3. So perhaps not the most original of ideas then, but how well will the lawsuit hold up? We'll have to wait and see. So the obvious point to make here is now, you've seen this news story everywhere, but they actually started this lawsuit in January. Now there's a big coincidence there because in January, Fortnite signed a contract to be in Korea, which is where PUBG calls from, to be in cyber cafes all around the country. So whether this is a jealousy play, we don't know. That's not a fact, that's just my opinion. But what we do know is the lawsuit was actually filed in January. So even though this is news now, actually been in the works for a couple of months yeah. and as you would have seen in the news fortnite hasn't shown any signs of slowing down since it's been getting sued but we know from the, the voice over there epic games are pretty good at suing people and they're pretty handy yeah. in the old courtroom it's probably not the best idea to sue epic games given that they completely judo through that other uh, silicon silicon knights exactly silicon who knights. even remembers them that's how hard they got sued they're they, a nameless corpse of a company yeah. so if track record is to go by epic will be ready for this epic lawyers they, they're sharpening their teeth as we speak they're finishing chomping down on that 14 year old boy that they're um <laughs> that are currently suing, right? Yeah. And they need some more food, don't they? PUBG, is it is it the right thing? Maybe they should just decide not to, just walk away, throw yeah, it down there. Because a 1v1, like Battle Royale in the courtroom versus Epic Games, it's not looking good. No, it, it's not like it's a, it's a concept that's so original, it's defined the genre. Like when Demon Souls or Dark Souls came out, that has become so uniquely Soulsy that it's got a whole genre. This is, well, it's called Battle Royale, which like we just said is a book and a film. You've probably played Minecraft mods that were Battle Royale before. This Counter-Strike had a Battle Royale mod before even H1Z1. Free for all isn't a new concept. Shooting people isn't a new concept. Even a frying pan's not an original idea. So they've got to be very careful what they're trying to say is theirs. I remember that they did try and sue a smaller developer for the use of a frying pan amidst other things. But how well is it going to hold up? Are they going to be laughed out? Yeah. I don't know. We don't know the details. Um, of this lawsuit. That's right. Yeah. And until it actually goes to court, I mean, there's no date on it. We don't know any of those details either. Yet. But you ca you can imagine. Um, I mean, it's going to be very difficult for, for PUBG yeah. to to follow through with this. Wouldn't it be cool? Like one uh, Fortnite character versus a PUBG character. Who would who would win? Yeah. Who would win? Imagine if Fortnite won. And then they could just say win a winner chicken dinner just to remember. That's how this is settled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how this is settled. Yeah. One v one me. It seems obvious uh, to us, at least, that it's a bad idea, right? So obvious 
that maybe you are right. Maybe there's other information that's not come to light in the public yet. Maybe they really do have something because they've got to know about the Silicon Knights situation. They know Epic and Tencent are like that. There's got to be something there that we don't know. That's, that's my it's, theory. I think you've got a good point. It's always precarious, though, because PUBG using the engine that are made by Epic Games, right? And yeah. um, like you said in the in the office, Jake, if they break one one of the clauses or whatever in the co contract they've had to sign to use the the engine, then Epic could pull the plug and they'd have to, they'd be left without yeah. like use of Scrambling. the engine, without license to use the engine, which would be devastating for PUBG because they'd have to port it to another um, engine or something. Yeah. It might end up for the best. I was going to say, if you thought the development was slow now, yeah. like, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're holding it back. Maybe Fortnite are just like not supporting the engine. Maybe yeah, that's what it is. Definitely. It's like history repeating itself again. Watch siege. out, PUBG. <laughs> PUBG versus Fortnite, who wins? You decide down in them comments. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out another one of the videos on the screen there. Support us on Patreon using that link there. We will see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now.